We're here at the Volvo booth in MIAS 2022 with Chris Yu of Volvo Philippines. So, Chris, a quick run through of what's new with Volvo for this year. Okay, uh, over here in MIAS, we're proud to display three of our latest offerings. First, we have the, uh, the new 2022 XC60. Uh, obviously, it's been a facelifted version with, with uh, much bolder design cues. But aside from that, we have the new Boost Hybrid uh, powertrain with all of our new cars. This integrates an integrated starter generator so that uh, all of our cars now are actually electrified. Wow, um, that's we, Volvo's plan, eh? Yes. That's we, Volvo's plan. Our commitment was by 2022, all of our cars from the cheapest to the most expensive will have an electric motor in them. From 2022, to, this year? This year. So globally? From, globally. So all of our cars now have, uh, have an electric motor. This one has a 48 volt uh, ISG, which uh, makes it a boosted engine. Not so much a, a pure hybrid, but a boosted engine. So besides, besides the XC60, we actually have also another new model. Yes, tara, tara. Yep. Very nice. Ganda. Ganda. Yeah. So this is our S90 long wheel Long wheel base. Do you sell the short wheel base? We Ito used na lang. to. We used to. Not anymore. We saw that the demand for the long wheel base was higher and uh, we looked at the cost difference and I think yeah. more, more people will end up gravitating towards the long wheel base. Uh, unlike other brands with long wheel base cars, uh, our long wheel base S90 actually is still very driver friendly. So if you look at how it's designed, Yes, it's longer, but it's very evenly proportioned. Um, and even though the back seat really is where the action is, it doesn't mean that the driver is left hanging in any way, shape, or form. Oh. Um, they have all the technology and all of the power that you get from the same uh, boosted hybrid uh, powertrain in an elegant and uh, luxurious sedan. How much are they? Uh, our XC60 is uh, uh, between 3.5 and 4 million. Our S90 is in the 4 million range and our ah. S90 is in the 5 million range. Oh, 4 million, not bad, huh? Yeah, so we're very proud and we're actually very uh, happy that uh, the initial orders of all of these models have been sold out. Uh, so these cars in front of you are actually sold uh, and we will have to... Uh, these are customer cars na. There are customers who are get, getting these cars. Yes, now. wow. Uh, and we're very happy that uh, very warm reception for these new models. Ganda eh. Four minutes, not bad, ah. Five series price. Yes, and for a long wheel base car with oh. a power drain. So I think we have a good offer. And the last? And the last of course is our top of the line XC90. 90. Luxury SUV. What do you call this color? Tutuwa ako sa mga brand colors eh. Ta Thunder's gray. <laughs> Thunder gray. Thunder gray. Thunder gray. Thunder gray. Thunder gray. Our XC90 with a thunder gray. Uh, it's also a new color. We don't have this gray before. Again, like the other two models before, it comes with the new B6 powertrain. So all the power and the additional benefit of the fuel efficiency in a, in a luxury SUV body. Ganda. Look at those wheels. So lucky. It's massive. P0s. Yeah. Pirelli P0s. All three of these have all of the safety. Of course, uh, of course. That Volvo is known for and we, uh, that our customers expect from us. Price range? 5 million. 5M, 5 M, not million. bad. Well, you know, iba yung, iba yung scale eh, ng mga yeah. price scale ng mga pag premium. Pero not bad. We negotiated to have a very good price uh, because we know that these cars are going to be very warmly uh, uh, received. Yes, by, yes. By the market. So, nice. So we, we, we have very ambitious volume targets for these cars. Uh, and from the initial feedback from the customers, I think we'll be able to sell quite a few of these uh, beautiful nice. new Volvos here Ganda. in the Philippines. Also, it's gray, eh. yung parang dirty. Alam mo yun, it's parang matte, matte gray. It, it, right. Parang may trend, eh. I see it in Mazda and Subaru. That's, I think it's a color that is fairly popular in Europe. Uh, and right now, we're adopting it now, but we uh -oh. think that this color has been available in certain models in Europe. But ganda. Uh, we're bringing it here. Look at those headlights, oh. Ganda ng... We have the Hammer of Thor LED headlights. Uh, Press Mjol... all of our models. Mjolnir, do you call it Mjolnir? Yes. Hammer of Thor. Hammer of 
I will not attempt to, to, uh, to uh, pronounce the Swedish uh, line, but this is Hammer of Thor. Uh, LED headlamp. Nax naman. Very nice. Chris, thank you. Thank you. Dave. Thank you. Thanks for dropping by. We're here at the Pio Show booth in Mias 2022 with Dong Magsao of Pio Philippines and they have an amazing new model. Dong, tell us about this new car. First of all, thank you, uh, Dizzo, for, for joining us of here course. today. Of um, course. We are, of course, very excited to show to the public our new new product, which is the 2008 or 2008. The 2008 is compact uh, SUV and it is the first time we brought a car with a very small engine that is up for the rising gas prices. Uh, ah. right now. It has a 1.2 liter engine, three cylinders, right? But turbo. it has all the belts and whistles. Yes, of course, it has a turbo. Um, but it has all the belts and whistles of its bigger uh, siblings. The 3008 and the 5008. Pretty much, you have it in a compact uh, SUV in the 2008. This is a compact, compact and what is category? Yes, it's a compact. Ganda. How much, sir? Uh, the introductory price is 155. So 1 million 550,000 uh, pesos for as an intro price for the 2008. What are the highlights? Niya? What are the features? Well, na proud as, na proud kayo? Yeah, as with any uh, Peugeot, current Peugeot model, it is really all about the driving experience. So, at the center of that is the eye cockpit. Now, the eye cockpit is several things put together a compact steering wheel, um, head up display, and touch screen that is surrounding the driver in, in a way. So we call it an eye cockpit because just like a cockpit, it, it literally is built around the driver. It's the same experience that you have in the bigger car, only this time around, it gets even better because it is 3D. It's digital, but it can. Um, ah, 3D effect. Yes. Ah. So, bago yung ano, completely new yung, yung uh, concept. It's a, it's a next generation icon. It's very exciting uh, as, a, as a new model to show to the Filipino people. How many variants are, do you have? There's only one. Uh, ah, talaga. Cool. So it's just it's just that uh, uh, variant that we have. However, there are four colors. Um, we have it in white. Um, black and gray as well but this uh, orange color is our introductory color right? ganda ganda yeah. oh you can see the flex mm, the yeah. ganda saka laki ng gulong ha 17 pero Four. yung ano yeah i, I, I like gusto ko yung mataba actually really pag low profile magandahan din pero my god the road say yeah. the feel diba? right oh naawa ako sa suspension parang correct correct so, mas, mas gusto ko yung ano, ha, uh, higher profile na gulong. It's just right. For, for the car, it's Yeah, perfect. tama yan, perfect. tama yan. No, obsessed tayo as car guys over yeah, low yeah. profile. Of course, 50 of course. series. The, the booth is is primarily, of course, we want to present it. Kaya nasa Bukanan. Because it's the newest model. But of course, we also have tara, tara. Our, our other models. Let's look at the other models. So, this is your compact. This is the more universally accepted size for SUVs, the 3008. It, it's a uh, little bigger, still a five-seater, but it, it is the the one that started it all. Right? This is the, when, when it was introduced, it was car of the year in Europe. Okay, and this is the updated um, facelifted version already. When did the facelift come out? We launched this particular product in February. Okay, so, it's one after the other. So, no uh, January we launched the bigger, the biggest one, and then the middle one in February, and then the smallest one uh, just two days ago. RFID last. It's a uh, part of the package, at both uh, north and south. Kasama na. Talaga? Yeah. Tapos. And then this is the first one that we launched this year. Is it mid-size? Hindi pa. 
Well, we're getting to it mid size, right? Let's say it has seven seats already. Ah, so basically, the same car, three double eight, five double eight. Basically, the same platform, but extended and with retractable seats for a third row. Prices, dong, the three zero zero eight five. How much are they? This is just above two million. Right? This is just above two million. I'm a little, a little pricier here. But um, not not too much that it's uh, gonna break the bank. Around um, still below your 2.5 with the entire range. So 1.5 to around 2.5 land with your uh, price range. Where are they made? Which factory? Uh, all of them uh, are, are made in Malaysia, in Malaysia. Atlantic Malaysia, which is why we're able to lower the prices for, tama, tama. for, for the market here. For that plant. Um, is still owned and run by the French. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Through our regional hub. Faster to ask for stocks, I guess, no? Kesa, kesa galing pa Europe, di ba? Mas mabilis yeah. yung stock. Yes. Yeah. Now, this one is the only product that's made uh, in France. Okay. Um, and it's the only diesel variant that we have. So, not sila petrol, this is the only diesel variant. And obviously, um, different um, target market here. You're looking at people who want to be driven, perhaps. Uh, although it does have a nice feel also in the driver's seat. No, it really is more for um, the people who want to be driven around. Unlike the, the previous three, no, the on driver, um, owner driven. Ito, uh, more often than not, uh, uh, the target market uh, families, of course. But also those executives. Yeah. Uh, gusto. Tama. Medyo malaki, maluwag. How, how much? Um, this is, this weekend has already been around 3 million. Ano? So it's our most, it's our most expensive. And of course, um, uh, because of its size, also, it sits on a different level as, as Competitive. Kalaban niya, Carnival, ni Timmy. There you go. Carnival. Uh, high ace, the higher high ace. The, the, the top level grandia, yeah. Yeah. Yung alpha is medyo ano na eh. Yeah, mahal. Sort of mahal premium na eh. Yeah. Ganda, ganda price point. Konti lang sila sa segment, if you think about it. That's exactly why Konti uh, lang. we understand there is some demand, pero nakaunti lang yung uh, nasa segment at the moment. We feel it's a good uh, player in that particular segment. Yes, eh. Yung spelling na naloloko ko minsan eh, European. <laughs> <laughs> diba, editor tayo, para ba? Diba, what else? English, yes, English. Warranty dong sa mga cars. Um, standard three-year warranty for, three for our Not vehicle. bad, not bad. So, um, the good thing about being here right now, right, is that all these four cars that we have are actually new cars uh -oh. launched this year, one after the other. Uh, January, February, March, and then just now April. Uh, our two W8. So, if, if people want to take a look at the car uh, outside uh -huh. of Fiat as well, lahat ng, ng vehicles in any Peugeot showroom are, are, are really 2022 models that we just brought in. Uh, so, how is every month? Every month we've had a launch. Oh, no, next month, totally. Next month we open new dealerships. Ah. That's the target. Okay, sayang, sayang, expand the network. Ito na yun na sayang streak. Sayang. <laughs> Nakakausi eh. Tuloy lang. Pero, um, we're excited. We're excited for, for the new product. We're excited for the for, for our would be oh. customers. Uh, because yeah. now we're, we're we're playing in a price point from 1.5 to yeah. 3 million. Tama. Na maraming pwedeng pagpilian and in different sizes. So an SUV for everybody and perhaps even a van. Tsaka, ganda ng booth. Classy. Thank you. A big screen, di ba? Parang yeah. focus on the brand and the car. Sin lang, wala nang... That's it. Very, very simple. Straight and, and in record time, kasi March lang na, di ba? Parang yes. biglan. Yes. Dati January pa lang, pwede ka nang mag-invasion ng booth, di ba? Yeah. It's not bad for, di ba? Yep. For our time frame, ang bilis ito. Sobrang bilis. And, and we're, we're actually very glad to be back in a setting na people can just walk. It feels nice, no? More than just, you know, parang, parang, but for the industry, it's very, very uh, parang, heartening to see. Parang reunion. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Exactly. And I'm glad to see you here. Alam mo, dahil dyan, mag-selfie tayo doon. Kaya, <laughs> mag-selfie tayo. 
Sorry of course. Na. Parang unicorn ka eh. <laughs> thank you, Dom. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Dean. Hi, we're in Nias 2022 at the Maserati booth. And this is not a model. <laughs> this is Natalia from Maserati Philippines. And she's going to talk about the beautiful cars they have on display. Thanks for visiting Dinzo. It's always a pleasure to see you on our display. Yes. Thank you, thank you. The tagline of Levante is Maserati of SUVs. And since ever the launch, this car has really been our volume driver. Well, the bestseller. Yeah, I don't think it's a secret to anyone that not only Philippines, but globally, the world is moving towards SUV. And more and more customers prefer SUVs to, to the sedans or any other model variants. Ah, that smell! Ah! It, Italian! Ambango! <laughs> Please, like so, Please feel free to sit inside and... That's oh, okay. I'll let him do the video. Okay, might, uh, might as well. Does it, does it have car play? Yes. Wow. Of course. Okay, yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about Levante, especially this particular model. So, this is our top of the line model. It has a V8 twin turbo. Wow. Yes, and this is actually the generation that was still assembled in the Ferrari factory. This year, the Maserati is moving towards assembling their own engine. And I'm sure you've attended our MC20 launch, you know about the new Tuno. So Maserati is really moving towards doing everything in-house. However, this particular one is, um, is still assembled in the Ferrari factory. So you can really know that you can take the most advantage of this engine and of this car particularly. So of course you have the four-wheel drive all the time, air suspension with three different ride modes. So for me, this is a perfect blend of everything you need. I normally don't do this, but you have to see the Maserati engine. Of course. You have to. Especially if it's a collaboration with oh Ferrari. Oh my God. So you see, it's very Ferrari in a way, right? You have yeah. a dominant. Uh, red here and of course carbon fiber. It's real carbon fiber, no? Yes, of course. How much is this? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to break this. <laughs> carbon fiber, that's real. Well, like this Ferrari engine, I don't think you will ever break it. You know, they, those things last forever. Oh, so you just pull it down, no? Okay. So, you want to talk about our other eye candy here? Of course, here yeah, Antonio? yeah. So, what do we have here? Yeah, well, obviously, this is uh, one of the eye candies of our display, not only because of its uh, red, right color, but also because it's one of our, same one of the last uh, units of the Maserati Gran Cabrio. Again, I'm sure you know the history of Gran Cabrio, and it has been one of the longest and one of the, well, it is the most successful uh, sports car for Maserati. Yeah, yeah. That way. For me, you know, it's a great example how you see that Italian style and yes. Italian design. It just doesn't age. It still looks nice. What yeah. do you call this red? Particular one. I think it's just Ross, uh, regular Rosso. Oh. Yeah. What's under the hood? Okay, so here under the hood, uh, we have the V8 twin turbo as well. And this is actually the same engine that was shared with uh, Ferrari California. Yeah, so it's also worth taking a look at. Let me pop the hood. Wow. Same same displacement as the Levante? No, this is uh, bigger. Hmm. You'll have to Google that. 